Hi, welcome back to the channel. Have you considered getting a cool glide but you think it might be too complicated to figure out or it's just not enough benefits from it to justify the cost? Well, stick around. I'm going to show you just how easy this thing is to use, okay? So there are so many wonderful things about the cool glide. In this little video, I'm just going to show you how to make the basic carpet seam. If I showed you everything that this cool glide is good for, we would be here all night. Who's got time for that? We just want to hear about it, okay? So let's get into it. Okay, so I already have my two pieces of carpet row cut and ready to go right there. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and seal my edges. You definitely need to do that. And to do that, I am going to use the Cool Glide recommended glue sticks because the Cool Glide glue sticks melt at a lower temperature than your traditional glue sticks, which is absolutely a perfect match for the cool glide, okay? So let me go ahead and just seal these edges up really fast. And doing that, I like to use the Orcon Peak Buster. I have found this to be my favorite glue gun so far. It don't let out too much glue whenever you're doing stuff like this right here. So that is why it's my favorite. Seam tape, get it measured out here to the length of my seam. Go ahead and cut that off. And if you can see, uh, this piece right here actually has a little uh, right underneath of here is hollow. Look at here, I'll stick this through here and show you. So, right underneath that metal thing, see how the tape slides right underneath of it? That's exactly what that's for, okay? And what that does, it allows it, this uh, Teflon seam board actually gives you something solid to make your seams on and also it keeps your seam tape completely centered right here. This right here keeps your seam tape completely centered underneath of your seam, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing under my seam center just like it needs to be. I'm going to pull my Teflon all the way back here to the back of my seam. And the reason why this is Teflon, when you get to a doorway or something like that, your seam tape is not gonna to stick to it, okay? So it actually will slide like that and you can actually like pull it right out by a door jam or anything like that. These, it's really, really easy to use these and it definitely makes a difference. When it comes to making a seam over, over something solid or over a pad, okay? So it, like I said, it's not a necessity, but it is a good idea. All right, so I got this. Now, like I said, I had everything all pre-cut, so what I wanna do here, if you can see these settings right here, it has a L, has low, medium, and high, and also right here is T, see that? that is for turning it sideways just like we want to do right there on the end and the power button of course you'll see that it, see that it flashes and goes back off this thing will not kick in and work if it does not have the seam tape under okay so we got our seam all lined up and ready to go and what i want to do now this cool glide iron will heat up uh, between this arrow and this arrow right here okay so that is where it heats up and that's why these markers are on there and this is just your basic tutorial on how to use this thing and all of these arrows make different points and stuff like that I will do a more thorough video on this later right now we are just showing the basics I've actually got uh, quite a few videos lined up here in the near future showing exactly what all this thing does okay but right now we're just getting down to the basics of how to use it okay so i've got my seam lined up right there and again so one of the main benefits to this is you do not have to put your seam together until it is 100 percent perfect okay so as you can see i can move this off i can get my seam exactly i mean exactly like i want it right there that is absolutely perfect then i can set my iron on there boom 
heat it up and it's done, okay? And then this is completely done. If I'm not happy with the way this seam is looking or how it's going or anything like that, I can take it apart, recut it or anything like that before I actually put it together, okay? And a traditional iron, when you slide it forward, this tape is already melted and already hot. You've only got a matter of seconds to get this seam absolutely perfect after you slide your iron out of the way before the, cool, uh, before the seam tape starts to dry up and it gets difficult to work with and then your seam loses strength. With the cool glide that is not the case whatsoever, you, like I said, you can sit here and get this seam absolutely perfect just like you want it right there. That's good. Set your iron on there. Boom, heat it up, it's done, okay? There's no sliding the iron out, fumbling, fussing with it, trying to get it matched up perfect and everything like that before the glue dries, okay? This is a great iron for someone to learn on if they're just getting into the trade or if they're having trouble making seams, by all means, get you a cool glide. This is absolutely perfect for learning and so many more things, okay? We're definitely going to do several videos on this showing all the benefits because this is the end of the seam. I want to put my arrow all the way to the end and I am using this over the Teflon board. So because it is over the board, I'm going to use this on a medium setting, okay? If this was over a pad, I would be using it on low. If it was over concrete, I would be using it on high, okay? This is over the Teflon seam board, so I'm going to use it on low, okay? I mean on medium. So now that I got that on there, uh, all you have to do is push the power button, okay? When that lights up, you can see that lit up right there. So if you've seen that light up right there, you know that it was working. I can just set that out of the way and make sure this is 100% perfect again. Rub it in the glue and roll it with my roller, okay? I'm gonna set the simmer down there on there just for a second. Now I can go ahead and get this all perfect before I move on with my next little run right there, okay? So that's what's awesome about this. You can take all the time that you want to while you're working your seam with this thing, okay? So these little arrows, while ago, like I said, this thing heats up between arrow and arrow, okay? So what you wanna do is take and either put something right here at this arrow so that when you move your iron forward, you can line your back arrow up right with that, okay? And that's gonna make sure that you get a complete even burn all the way down the seam, okay? And not overlap it. If you overlap this, you will get burn on the tape, okay? That's what happened. You guys probably seen a video I did while I was in Arizona, uh, does the cool glide suck? Well, what had happened was somebody used it that didn't know what, how to use it and they burnt the tape all up, okay? So, rather than, rather than setting a tool or something like that down there to mark it, what I'll do, I'll usually just take and mark it right on the carpet like that, okay? Now I can just put my back arrow right on the mark that I put on the carpet. Now, that's just in the nap, okay? That's not hurting a thing. However, that won't work on some carpets. On plushes and stuff like that, you can definitely just put a little mark on there again, okay? So again, I'm just gonna push the arrow, the green button, and you can see it light up right there. That lets me know that it is heating up, and it will only take uh, just a matter of seconds. Boom, and it's already done. I'm gonna mark that right there. That's where I'm gonna set it next time. Rub my seam out. Hit it with the roller and slide it forward, okay? Again, I'm gonna put my back arrow right here, right with the line that I put on there, okay? I'm gonna take, before I even kick it on, put me a mark right there. Push the button and let it go, okay? It's just that simple. You guys probably noticed just a while ago how whenever I tried to turn it on, it would not even come on 
unless it's over the seam tape, okay? So this time, if somebody comes, pushes the button or something like that while you're working in the house, it's not gonna come on and do any damage as long as it's not over the seam tape, okay? So again, now, see that? So I can slide that straight forward right there with no problem. Even though I done made my seam on it, that seam tape is not gonna stick to the Teflon, okay? Now, that's all cool, all ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and get this completely ready before I set my seam iron on it. Okay, right here's my mark. Take and line my back arrow up with my mark. Boom, hit the green button and we're ready to roll again. Now, I'm not using my seamer down now on this just for the sake of doing the video and the noise and stuff like that, but I definitely always use my seamer down now on all my seams, whether it's a traditional iron or a cold light, okay? And one of the main benefits of using this iron uh, is, once again, you can take all the time you want to making your seams, and another thing, anytime you heat up the carpet, heating up the carpet backing is bad, okay? Let me go ahead and do this right here. So the last time, my iron stopped right here, okay? Well, what the deal is, there's not a full length right there, okay? So I'm gonna take and set this sideways on the end of my seam right there. Now that's where this arrow right here in the middle comes in play. That lets me know that it's uh, centered on the seam and I'm gonna hit the T because I'm turning my seam and it's actually putting this across my seam like a T, okay? Now that's gonna cause it to heat up really fast and really efficient on this end part of the seam. Boom, that was just that fast, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and roll it. And I'm gonna give that just a second because I actually need to go just a little bit further. So I'll talk about this for just a second while that's cooling off there. So your traditional irons that you use while you're making seams and stuff like that, uh, a lot of them will have the Teflon on the top of them to keep the backing of the carpet from getting hot. Uh, a lot of them will be, uh, say, cool top or something like that where it prevents the top of them from getting so hot. And the reason why that is, anytime you heat up the backing of the carpet, it is not good, okay? So you wanna prevent heat from getting to the backing of the carpet as much as possible. That's why you run your iron on a low setting or either if you run it on four, you move it super fast. Because when your backing of the carpet gets hot, it actually will take and curl like this right here and you're, there's no way to get your seam right when your backing gets too hot, okay? It just absolutely destroys the backing. It shrivels all up and everything like that. This iron right here, even though I've been using it, is completely cool. There's actually nothing whatsoever hot on the back of that carpet except for the hot melt tape and that's it. And it even melts at a lower temperature than your traditional tape, okay? So that is just another big plus right there when it comes to using the cool glide versus a traditional iron, okay? There's many reasons to justify the cost of this iron. We're definitely gonna be doing videos on that, showing everything that I can think of. I've used it on two jobs in particular that 100% justify the price of it just from those two jobs. Let's finish this up on the end. Okay, so a while ago, I wanted to, I didn't, I wasn't able to get all the way to the end by turning my iron sideways. I still like a couple of inches there. So you don't never want to hit your tape with this iron twice, like boom, boom, back to back. So that's why I waited just a couple minutes. You wanna wait at least a minute, and then you can go ahead and heat up your tape in the same spot again, okay? It don't hurt a thing to heat your tape up twice in the same spot. You can actually do it up to three times if I ain't mistaken to like if you have an issue, if there's something wrong back here, if there's something wrong back here in your seam, uh, if something didn't line up right, if you've got something going on here and you need to fix it, you can actually take this, uh, heat it back up and fix whatever the issue is right here, okay? So after we take a look at this, we're gonna check that out and I will actually heat this up again and show you that you can pull it apart. See, see how easy that came out there? Really, really easy. 
So looking right here at the backing of the carpet, there is absolutely no burns on that, okay? A lot of people uh, have issues with it burning and stuff like that. If you keep an eye on your arrows, just like I showed there, make sure that whenever you're going like right here and you mark your carpet right there, don't have that overlapped because then you're melting the tape twice in that same little section right there. That's what I wanted to prevent right here. And that will definitely burn your tape. It might even burn your pad just a little bit. However, if you do this properly, as I just demonstrated, you're not gonna have any burn marks, you're not gonna have any burnt pad, burnt carpet, or anything like that, okay? It's all in keeping your seam, your seam iron lined up evenly with your pad and making sure you don't overlap your arrows right there. So mark your arrows out by all means, mark them, make sure that it sets right every time and you're not gonna have any issue, okay? So this is put together really good right there and I only use the seamer down now on this end right here, okay? Now I'll show you that if you have an issue, you can heat this up and pull it apart again, okay? So I'm gonna melt my seam tape again. Uh, let's just say, uh, let's see, um, it accidentally pulled apart right here. I got my whole room stretched in and I turn around, oops, I've got a seam pulled apart right here. Well, check this out. I can actually take this right here, I'm gonna turn it on again, melt it, and watch this. So it melts really fast, okay? That's all the time it took right there. Now, see this? Now, I have my seam right here. I can pull it apart. I can work it back together. If I had an issue, if I had an issue with my seam pulling apart or anything like that right there, it definitely loosens the glue right back up. And watch, you can put it right back together again without it hurting a thing, okay? Again, you can do this three times before your glue gets uh, destroyed. So I actually had someone message me just the other day, if, if I ain't mistaken, uh, it was yesterday. He's like, I can get my seams right sometime and sometimes it just don't work out right. Sometimes they look great, sometimes they look bad. If that gentleman had a cool glide right there when he started putting it together and seeing that it was not working out, you could stop right there and address the rest of the seam or you could take, heat it back up and pull it apart, recut it or do anything you wanted to do with it because you're not pressured from the glue melting as you're burning your seam. All the time in the world to get your seam perfect exactly like you want it right here with the cool glide iron, okay? The, again, I just can't stress this enough. This is completely justifiable, the price for this machine right here. This is a wonderful, well-made machine and it is absolutely beneficial to the carpet industry. This, along with the seamer down now and the uh, Cool Glide Teflon seam board is absolutely wonderful and I always will use my Oricon Peak Buster. This is the best seam sealing gun that I've found so far. And also, don't forget, you need to use the Cool Glide the, you need to use the cool glide seam sticks along with it because like I said, these do melt at a lower uh, heat than the traditional glue sticks, than your other seam sticks, seam glue sticks. So you're not going to get your good bond where your seam won't break open and stuff like that if you don't use these glue sticks because your regular seam sticks are not going to melt and they're not going to get put together properly. So speaking of getting a good bond in the uh, seam sealing process, making sure that your seam will not break apart and stuff like that. Since I opened up my big mouth, let's just go ahead and see if it did what it's supposed to do right here on this seam, okay? Uh, this end right here is still just a little bit warm, so I'm not going to do this. I just dealt with this end. So let's come up here. Let's check out this right here. Okay, there you go. Boom. So the Cool Glide glue sticks definitely do what they're supposed to do. See that seam right there? It definitely is not breaking open. Staying nice and flat right there. That is exactly how your seam is supposed to do if you put it together properly with the proper tools and products, okay? 
I hope someone learned something from this video uh, and maybe it will give you a second thought about uh, purchasing this. Like I said, there's so many, so many valuable reasons and so many wonderful things that you can do with this tool. Uh, this is just the tip of the iceberg right here. I've got so much stuff in mind that's going to come up that we're going to have coming up demonstrating just how wonderful and how beneficial this seam glide, cool glide iron is to the flooring industry, okay? Again, I hope you like this. I hope you learned something. Give me a thumbs up on the video if you liked it. By all means, leave a comment in the description or in the comment section. Do you have a cool glide iron and what all do you use it for, okay? Maybe we can cover that in one of these upcoming videos uh, demonstrating all the multi-purposes of the cool glide. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, FBSB is out.